I own a musket for home defense, since that's what the Founding Fathers intended. Four ruffians break into my house, the devil, as I grab my powdered wig and Kentucky rifle, blow a goat ball sized hole through the first man, he's dead on the spot. Draw my pistol on the second man, misses him entirely because it's small more and nails the neighbor's door. I have to resort to the cannon mounted at the top of the stairs, loaded with grape shot. Tally ho, lad! Grape shot shakes two men in the blast, the sound an extra shrapnel set of car alarms. Fix bayonets and charge the last terrified rapscallion. Bleeds out, waiting on the police to arrive, since triangular bayonet wounds are impossible to stitch up. Ah, just as the founding fathers intended. Howdy there, today I'm playing Guts and Gunpowder. It's basically a zombie survival game if you gave everyone muskets and swords instead. Uh, this is like my fifth attempt because my uh, first attempt went like this. Yeah, I know. A genius move. Playing the Blunderbuss class, which is basically free shotgun. Well, shotgun in quotes. Oh, he's already dead. And all I'm hoping to do today is just escape this uh this map. Oh, I was a little too close right there. I could have like died. <laughs> well, we're gonna go make our way down here. And uh boom. Oh. Didn't do anything. Unlucky me. Now this game's like way harder than I thought. Uh more because everyone keeps dying and you can't really fight them on your own. Like watch, look, he's already dying. And I'm gonna save him with just one shotgun blast. Uh, we're getting up to the first real big problem, which is uh, scaling down this little hill and getting like the gunpowder. Usually, like 10 people dying because they go straight up. Oh, I got him. I missed. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. It's uh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm good. Now we get some links and we get to go when I'm a Mario. Oh, there's a big board right here. Watch this. Flammo. Killed like 28 of them right there. Holy frick. That's a lot. Oh no, we're getting swarmed. Oh god. Oh, they're all dead and I'm next. Oh, thank the lord they were behind me. Okay. As long as we stay slightly back, we'll be fine. Oh, this pet's also a nightmare. I fell off like three times. Oh, bummer, 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 bummer. Okay. Whew. You can hear that that bomb killed like 12 people right there. Okay, let's scale down. We got this, guys. Now, uh, to be honest, I don't trust any of these people. A Roblox player can't divide their attention into two tasks. And this has two tasks, so we gotta be very careful. Thankfully, they have the IQ to build a nice little wall right here. And we can just sit back and plan them. All of them. So, uh, let's see if the Battle of the Bridge goes well. And, uh, it seems like the fortifications are holding up pretty nicely. Now, uh, I'm gonna use my blunderbuss to just kill it. Oh. I think it just got thrown off. I was gonna say, I'm gonna use my blunderbuss to its best ability, honestly. Hopefully getting multiple kills per shot. Man, I wish I didn't have to spend hours to reload. Ooh, we're getting good kills and it's going well, I think. Oh, actually we're almost done. Flammo! Put three of them right there. And I think the gunpowder to, uh, to open the gate's almost done. As you can see, they're pushing it and we'll open it. Bam. Okay. Uh, they just hit the hay bale now. Now usually like two people die. Whenever they go to get the hay bale, because someone's gonna like get IQ checked and not land on it. That's someone being me. I haven't landed on it like multiple times. Okay everyone, it's time to go. And make sure to land on it. Perfect. Now the city is also a very hard part. There's so many zombies in here. Oh my god. We're doing okay, guys. Just hold the front line. At least the flute guy is okay. 
He's giving us a little bit of a reload bonus. Now, right here, this hallway is like a hallway of death. We gotta set up fortifications and just defend from swarms. Like, look at them. They keep on coming in. But we'll probably be fine if they just build the wall. Let's uh, push up. So if we get pushed back, we don't just immediately die and get cornered. Uh, after th uh, this, we go into that building to the right. And uh, we should basically be on the home stretch. Right now we're just fighting the hordes off. And hopefully we don't lose too many people. We've been hitting the hordes as much as we can. And uh, it's kind of getting hard to see. Hashtag vape nation. <laughs> But our defenses are strong, and our men are stronger. Oop. It's okay. Okay, time to push up and make our victorious claim. Slash. Double slash. Triple. Now, we just go up these stairs, and now we have to go fight through this. This section is a little scary. It does. Let me show you. Zoom in. So, uh, yeah. It's just basically a hallway filled with zombies. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Let me fight, let me fight. And let me reload, please, lord. Here's a little bit of an outside view of the chaos inside. So after fighting our way through that horde, we got over here to the, uh, what I like to call the Tunnels of Doom. Oh, look at that guy. Just gone. Basically, it's just hallway after hallway filled with zombies and I whiffed my shot I hope it wasn't important okay the first door to the nightmares we're about to witness like look at this hundreds of zombies just behind those doors obviously we're gonna charge in and die so I'm gonna put my lovely sword and we're gonna get the slashing oh okay everyone else got them and we're doing pretty good, okay. Boom! Okay, I don't know how to hit nobody. And uh, here's us fighting for the hallway for basically our lives. Heck, that one good guy, he literally almost dies. Because he just got a little too close to them. Okay, we're dwindling in numbers, but we're doing, we're doing fine on firepower. I honestly think we should move back to these barrels. But it seems like they want to push up. Guys, come on, it's safe over here. Well, safer. Oop, saved another life right there. Might as well be a doctor. But we're coming up to the, like, second to last section. Which is just another fight the horde. But this time, we get something epic. Cannon. Um, I doubt anyone's gonna load it for me. But I will still try to get on it. Okay. We're looking good. Oh. Come on, come on. Defend me. Defend me. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm okay. Back on the cannon. And we're gonna... Oh, he's gonna load it for me. Boom. And that was really mid. I don't even think that did anything. Nope. Okay, maybe I should get off the cannon and just, like, fight. Ooh. That was a good shot. Oh god. I'm a little afraid to even get close to that. Like, look at them. Ooh. Oh god. Everyone's so low. Okay. Get on the platform. Get on the platform. Oh god. Uh, do we just have to fight here? Oh my god. It lowers so slow. We're never gonna make it. What the? Someone, oh my god, holy lord, oh god, Jesus. One must sacrifice himself. Come on. Oh, please. I'm fighting for my life here, guys. Come on. Just lower the damn thing. Okay. <gasps> I'll save you. Oh my god, my sword. Come on. Okay, he's okay. Oh no, he's dead. Oh god, don't push me. No. Oh. Does it really end here? Uh, yeah, it does. <sighs> well, I hope these two live. If they live, we win, technically. And of course, the boatman's coming as low as possible. 
Come on, man. I believe in you. You can make it, dude. Just jump on the boat. Just, just jump. Just get on it. What a genius.